Hey, what's up you guys, Jack Jack here. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to build a pregame lobby just like this. Wow. Now for people that don't know what a pregame lobby is, a pregame lobby is a place where people spawn when they join a creative island. Also, it's a place where you spawn when a game ends. So you might actually see a lot of pregame lobbies in featured islands. And I find it just it just makes your map a lot more professional. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, Jack Jack HD. Also like the video. And uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Well, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a uh, capture fly. Capture. Capture fly. Capture. Capture. All right, so we are in a island that I've built. This map here is called Capture the Flag, red versus blue. And this map's pretty old, but uh, this map actually doesn't have a pregame lobby, as you can tell when I spawned into the island. So we're gonna get into building a pregame lobby for this map. So settings, you should first change before you build. Go to my island, then game settings, you're gonna look for spawn location. Make sure spawn location is on spawn pads. It shouldn't be on sky, it shouldn't be in current location. Make sure the setting is set to spawn pads. Once you're done that, we can build the pregame lobby. Now for the design of the pregame lobby, it's actually all up to you. It's all about your creativity and how you want to design your pregame lobby. You know, some pregame lobbies that I've seen, people did it outside and built actual artistic pregame lobbies. You know, it's all about if you have the creativity to do that. But I'm gonna show you guys how to build a basic pregame lobby. So first I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go to my island, then I'm gonna go to creative. In creative, you're gonna go to galleries. In galleries, you can actually choose whatever structure you want, whatever gallery you want. I'm gonna choose art deco, bank gallery black. I'm gonna equip it to my hotbar and I'm gonna place it right over here. So now that I've placed it, I'm gonna be looking for walls that I want for my pregame lobby. Again, you guys, you can design whatever you want. So I'm just gonna show you guys a basic one. You guys can copy me if you want, but if you wanna be creative and spend a little bit more time with the pregame lobby to make it specialized for you, you can go right ahead and have fun with that. I'm gonna take this wall over here. Once I have the wall, all I'm gonna do is build a box. My box is gonna be a four by four. And it's gonna be two floors high. Next, I'm gonna take floors. I'm gonna choose a type of floor. So once you got your floors, you can go ahead and place it at the bottom of your pregame lobby. Next, what I'm gonna do is look for an uh, interesting ceiling, something very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. All right, so there you go. It doesn't really look appealing from out here, but when I go inside, it looks very basic. You got a little clean pregame lobby setup. I'm gonna actually place down these floors slight design change all right so next when you have a box just like this you're gonna go ahead and mess around with the spawn pads so the spawn pads are in devices player spawn you're gonna equip a few of these now it doesn't matter how many you have but i like placing them around my pregame lobby box go ahead and place it alongside of your pregame lobby like so once you have it like that, you're going to go into the settings for all your player spawns. And the settings I'm going to change are team. I'm going to set team to none. I'm also going to go use as island start. I'm going to keep that to yes, so I'm not going to change that. And next, I'm going to change visible during games. I'm going to turn that to no. So once you have that setting, team set to none. It means that no one's gonna spawn here that's on a team. Now I have used as island start, so when people join the island, this is where people start, this is where people spawn. Now the option visible during games for people who can publish maps, this option here might be useful for you. This option here actually allows for the spawn pads to be invisible in the pregame lobby, but it only works for people who can publish their maps. If anyone joins your island, you won't be able to see spawn pads in the pregame lobby. But for the people who can publish maps, no matter what, in your pregame lobby, you will be able to see those spawn pads. For the people who don't know how to get a publish button, you gotta have a supporter creator code, and uh, that's a whole different topic in itself, so I won't get into that. So the option visible during games, you can obviously have the spawn pads in the arena, have this turned no, so when the game does start, the spawn pads are invisible. But for your pregame lobby, 
it won't make a big difference. So that's it for the settings for the spawn pads. You're gonna have to go ahead and change all the other settings for the spawn pads in the pregame lobby. So I'm gonna fast forward this just so I don't bore you guys to death. So you might have noticed when I changed the team settings to none, the spawn pad turns red. So all your spawn pads in your pregame lobby should be red. So I'm done all the spawn pads. I changed all the spawn pad settings in the pregame lobby. Next, I'm gonna go to my arena. This is where people play my capture the flag. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is changing all my spawn pad settings that I have in my arena. All right, so in my player spawn settings, this is actually team two. So in teams, I have it set to two. This is the team two side. It might be different for you guys. If you guys have a free for all, it should be on any. If you have teams, it should be the individual team, but I have it set to two for team two. The settings I'm gonna change is use as island start. I'm gonna change this to no. So when people join the island, they don't start here. And obviously the settings visible during games, if you wanna change it, you can change visible during games. So you don't see the spawn pad when the game starts. Next, I'm gonna change all the settings for my spawn pads in my arena. I actually have a lot of spawn pads, more than maybe 32. I have a lot of spawn pads on this game mode. So it's gonna take some time. I'm gonna fast forward. I don't wanna bore you guys to death once again. I really don't think you wanna see you you know change all the spawn pads all right so this is the other side of my arena this is team one spawn pads again i'm only going to change the use as island start i'm going to turn this to no all right so i'm finally done all the spawn pads settings have been changed i made sure that all the settings were changed i probably changed more than 30 spawn pads took a long time all right so make sure all the settings are correct in your pregame lobby after that your map should work as long as you have all the settings correct all the spawn pad settings correct you didn't miss anything the pregame lobby should be operational all right i'm going to show you guys a few tricks what you can do with your pregame lobby first things first if you go to devices you go to the billboard you can actually add text to your pregame lobby but uh, for example, I'm gonna type in Kojakjack HD. Greatly appreciate it if you use it. Oh, that's that's the other side. That's the wrong side. If you bought something with my supporter credit code, feel free to send me a screenshot to my Instagram and maybe I'll put it in a video. All right, so in the settings for the billboard, this is just uh, a way to customize the billboard and how it looks, how the text looks. Now I'll show you guys a trick for the people that don't know. If you go down to show border, if you turn this to off, the billboard disappears and all you have is a black background. But next, you go to background color and you set it to clear. And now it's only text. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a wall and put it around my pregame lobby. You can rotate the text by clicking the RB button or the R1 button if you're on uh, PS4. And another trick, you can actually enlarge the text past extra large by holding the B button. And if you look on the bottom left side of the screen, you'll see that resize is now on. Now, if I click on the RB button again, I can resize it even larger. All right, this will be capsule flag because that is what the game mode is. And what I'll do, I'll change the text color to red. And I'll show you guys another trick. If you put this on a wall, and you take it, you copy it, you pull it back just a little bit. And then you change the text color to white. It actually gives it a 3D effect and it looks pretty cool. You can also use different background colors. Next, another trick for people who are in the pregame lobby waiting, you can always do this. You can go to devices, you can go to ball spawner. I'm gonna put this in the middle of my map. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna put it on the ceiling. Now in the settings, this is how you set up the settings for the, the ball, you know, how the mechanics work for the ball and how the appearance looks. I'm gonna set it to light. And now you have something for the people waiting to play with. Instead of people just standing around a pregame lobby, they'll be playing with this ball. And yeah, it's, it's very distracting. I've, I've even been playing with it when I'm talking. So now when you're done that, when you do start the game, as long as you have the settings right for all the spawn pads, the ones in the pregame lobby and the ones in your arena where people fight, you should spawn in the arena. Then once the game does end, you should spawn back in your pregame lobby. If you back out, then go back to your island, you should spawn back in your pregame lobby, just as intended. But yeah, once again, you guys, make sure all the settings are correct for your spawn pads. Here are the settings once again. Here are the settings for the pregame lobby. 
Here are the settings in the arena where people fight. But yeah, you guys, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like if this video helped you guys. Subscribe if you're new and you're interested in watching other content just like this. Again, use code JackJackHD in the item shop to support me. And also, I'm trying to stream on Mixer. Link to my Mixer is in the description. So go over there and follow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Wow.